It's Wednesday, and that means a new Minecraft snapshot for 1.20. Minor changes this time, but still worth checking out, I think. So make sure to like the video for small changes. We'll have a small goal of two likes, and let's check things out. So you're really excited to get into this update and work on creative mode stuff. You saw my last snapshot video, and you've wiped all memory of how to do commands because all the blocks you could ever need are now under the redstone blocks tab. You have command blocks, you have your structure void, you have your debug stick. It's not there anymore. What happened? Well, don't worry. They've just branched it out into another section. You have to enable an option now. It's under controls and there's operator items tab. Turn it on. Go back into your creative menu and now it's down in the bottom right, operator utilities. And you have all those blocks, including they just branched out all the different light levels into their own blocks that you can pull off so you can get exactly the light level you need rather than having to, you know, cycle through it until it gets to the right level. So it's still there. Don't worry. You know what? Maybe you're not big into creative mode. So let's talk new blocks that you can get in survival and creative, obviously. So bamboo has kind of been totally changed. If I go and try to make a bamboo plank here, I'm like, wait, what? Is, did, am I forgetting something? Are there different kinds of bamboos? What's the deal? So it's been totally changed. It's now three by three, and that crafts a block of bamboo. This is basically a bamboo log. And now if I put that back into the crafting grid, I get two bamboo planks. So actually a worse deal, because instead of getting two bamboo planks for eight bamboo, it's now two bamboo planks for, for nine bamboo. But whatever, is what it is. Anyway, this is a new block, the block of bamboo, and it acts just like a log, so I can also use an axe and I can strip it. And then it gives the bamboo plank texture to the sides while still retaining this kind of stacked bamboo top to it. So you get to kind of have like a hybrid block and you can choose which one works best for your build. And in my case, I built this really incredibly <laughs> detailed build to demonstrate just the beauty of the new bamboo blocks. So here's a look at it. And I made the floor out of the stripped bamboo logs, but the texture is the same on the plank again versus just, you know, the side of the bamboo, uh, stripped bamboo block. So I don't think it really matters either way, although you get a little bit more control as to which direction it faces because you can't really alternate when it comes to the bamboo planks as far as I'm aware. So if you want to get that kind of, you know, the floor going in different directions, then it is good to use the, the strip bamboo blocks so that you can adjust the direction according to whatever you want it to be. But that's my, my beautiful house made from bamboo blocks and strip bamboo blocks. Hey, have you ever heard of the Mandela effect? If so, here's an example for me. I'm going to put a torch on top of the shulker here, and I'm going to open the shulker. When I do it, it breaks the torch. Now, if you ask me, did it always do that? I would have said, yeah, it probably did. Why wouldn't it? The answer is that is false. In the past, if you placed the torch or the button on top of the shulker and you opened it, it would not break it, which is weird. If you did it on the side, it would break it, which is weird because the top seems like it would be even more inclined to break it. But anyway, I don't know. It used to not break the torch when you did this. Now it does break the torch when you do this and still does if it's on the side. So we like bringing physics back into Minecraft and making it realistic. Um, beware your <laughs> shulker topped torches, torch top shulk. Whatever it is. Okay, okay, you're right. I saved the best for last. I had to keep you here for something. So now, the Vexes have received a total overhaul. Here's an alley. And now, here's a... There was a Vex. <laughs> so now, Vexes are actually pretty similar looking to alleys, like the same proportion, same sort of model, just differently textured, so that they kind of look like a, a corrupted... Alley, poor alleys that got kidnapped by the evokers and, and made to do mean things. I want to save you. It would be so cool if there was actually a way in this update, now that we have parody on the on the models, that like if you go into a woodland mansion and an evoker summons them, there's something that you could do as they're charging you in order to like 
I don't know, convert them back into an alley. I don't, you're, you're carrying like a golden apple or something like that, or some amount of emeralds, and you like give it to them, and then they're like, oh, oh, thank goodness for snapping me out of it. And then you have an alley that's your friend, and I just, okay, that would be really cool. Also, uh, let me go into survival so that we can see what they look like when they attack because they actually look gnarly now, dude. They have like this crazy, angry, like very contrasty red texture. Obviously, Vex is, you know, they they go red when they were attacking previously. But I feel like it's just much more defined. But now that they have the same character model and proportions as an ally, I feel worse actually attacking them. I want to save you. I can save you guys. I promise. <laughs> um... But that's, yeah, I think this is kind of the uh, coolest, most interesting new addition. It also, like, I think they will, <clears throat> I was going to say, I think they will be easier to hit as I with it. Um, but I do think that they they will be slightly easier to hit. The, the character model is slightly larger. I don't know if that means the hitbox changed or it might just be kind of easier to visualize as I <clears throat> keep whiffing. I'm too old for PvP <laughs> or PvE. Anyway. <laughs> Um, those were the main changes brought into this new snapshot, so hopefully you found it informative. There are a bunch more small little minor tweaks and bug fixes if you check the change log, but for now, that's pretty much it. He mad, but I want to save him. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Stay tuned, sub for more updates and stuff like that, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>